At Oracle, we've had tremendous success with the iPhone. In a very short period of time, we brought out a total of five new iPhone apps, and the response has been truly amazing. So we jumped at the chance to come, come here to Cupertino and enhance some of our apps with the new features of the iPhone 3.0 SDK. Let's imagine that Chris here is a vice president of manufacturing for a toy company. He's on his way to meet with a, a new supplier, when as you see here, he's gotten an alert on his iPhone. So by tapping the view button here on his uh, iPhone, Oracle Business Indicators is automatically launched. The app establishes a secure connection back to the enterprise and retrieves more details about the alert. It looks like we've got a critical problem on our teddy bear production line. <laughs> and as we see here, we're running critically low on plastic eyes for the teddy bears. And nobody wants yet another victim of the worldwide shortage in teddy bear eyes. So Chris is responsible for several factories, and so he's often on the road. He loves how he can use his iPhone with Oracle Business Indicators to keep tabs on the performance of his organization. And he can use that updated information as he goes into the meeting with the supplier to get an immediate resolution to the problem. Now, even though this supplier has stepped up to the plate and is helping solve our issue, there's still going to be a brief delay in delivering these outstanding orders. So again, using the power of business indicators, we can go in and view the outstanding orders. And as we see here, it looks like Bears and Mora, a key local retailer, is going to have the, the most impact. So we'd like to reach out to them and, and make sure that they're well informed as, as we go through the process. So again, Chris can use uh, Oracle Mobile Sales Assistant to retrieve more information about the Bears and Mora account. This uh, mobile sales application uh, goes into our, our back-end CRM system, again, establishes a secure connection back to the enterprise, and pulls up this uh, additional data. So as he scrolls down, we can see the account representative listed in the owner field. And in a few short steps, without even leaving the application, he can send an email directly to that account rep so that they can keep the customer informed while we fill their outstanding order. Even though Chris is at, on the road a lot, he can keep in constant contact, receive these alerts as he's, uh, as he's out there, and respond immediately to changing business conditions. Now, in real life, Chris is a member of our CRM product development team. Along with members of our business, uh, business intelligence team, we were able to modify two of those five applications I talked about earlier with the new capabilities of the iPhone SDK, including email sheet and push notifications. Thank you, everyone, and happy St. Patrick's Day. <clears throat> Thanks, Hody. You know, J.D. Power and Associates recently ran a survey of business smartphone users. And the iPhone ranked number one in customer satisfaction. Number one in customer satisfaction among business smartphone users. Business users love the iPhone, and they love it even more because of apps like this from Oracle. So thank you. Next is ESPN. ESPN, as I'm sure you know, is the worldwide leader in sports. And it's certainly where I turn for all of my sports scores and news. They have one of the best web apps out there for the iPhone. And now, with iPhone 3.0, they're moving into native app development. To talk you through their experiences, I'd like to invite up OK Ocaro. Thank you. Man. Thank you. The ability for ESPN to be within arm's reach throughout the day pre presents a truly unique opportunity that we have long embraced and are using to deepen our relationship with sports fans. Today we have a wildly popular alert service delivering over 50 million alerts per month to sports fans around the country. And we're here today because the new capabilities that are coming in the new iPhone 3.0 SDK will enable us to step things up on the iPhone in a big way. <laughs> so, using the push notification service, we're able to play the tone that you just heard and update the badge number on our application. So let's see what's going on. Now, the video you're about to see is actually the highlight from the Big East game from last Thursday between UConn and Syracuse that went to a historic 
six overtimes. Tied at 110, sixth overtime. You know what? It's funny you mentioned that. Andy Routens <laughs> had 20, all but two of them on threes. That three-pointer gave Syracuse their first lead in overtime. Their first lead since there were two and a half minutes left in regulation. Unbelievable. Now that was an amazing game with a truly spectacular finish. Today, though, in order to get that video from us, you would need to visit us and pull it. As you saw, we can now bring that to you. That's not all, though. Because what you can't see that's going on behind the scenes is that we're using the new media player, which automatically delivers the best video experience based on the bandwidth that you have. So if you come in on a 3G connection, you will get the best video quality experience for 3G. If you come in on a Wi-Fi connection, you will get the best video quality experience for Wi-Fi. So why is that a big deal for us? Well, first off, we are very focused on trying to deliver the best quality experience possible. And today, um, we often have to deliver for the lowest common denominator. With this, we don't have to do that. The new media player does the heavy lifting for us. Very good news. But again, that's not all. So at ESPN, we are very focused on delivering a very well-rounded experience. So with that, what I mean is, you know, as, as Scott had mentioned, we have a very highly trafficked iPhone web app. So for people who are seeking more information than the alert, we are integrating with our mobile website so that they can get the analysis or the statistics or the stories behind uh, the actual alert. So hopefully what we have shown has given you a little bit of a taste for what can be done with these new capabilities. And we at ESPN look forward to using them to continue to delight sports fans. Thank you. Now, as OK said, ESPN delivers over 50 million alerts a month. 